So Elliot, obviously that's your testimonial match over. What was it like being back on the on the pitch again with all the boys that you probably haven't played with some of them for quite a few years? Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, again, you, you sort of do these things and you uh, you put these things out in social media, and you're sort of a bit apprehensive and how they're how they're going to take and if anyone's going to come and support you. But I have to say, we, we sort of we launched this probably a month ago, and the amount of support I've had from supporters. Uh, from obviously family, friends, it, it's it's been fantastic, and sometimes you just don't realise how much you're liked or loved. Um, and when you do things like this, you sort of realise people hold you in high regard. And um, again, the turnout today was really good, and obviously a lot of friends and family here today. Again, made it a wee bit made it special for me. Uh, there's so many people here to support you, as you said, friends and family. What was it like walking out onto the pitch and looking up and seeing everybody in the crowd? Then, when you do these things, you. You don't you don't really know how they're, how they're going to go, and I've obviously I've I had a, a testimonial after ten years, and um, you're always apprehensive about how many people is going to turn up. But I think in regards to today, it was a, it was a really good turnout. Like we're up in the function rooms now, and it's packed out, and um, I, I I can't I can't be any any happier with how the day went. And, I'm just so happy with everyone coming out and support me and I just want to thank them so much. So you got yourself a goal today at the second <laughs> attempt. What happened? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not on penalties anyway, thank God. Thank God I've never been on penalties, but uh, no, it's not my not my forte. I was a wee bit disappointed because, yeah. you know, after your goal in 2019 that we were talking about earlier, you know, yeah. I, I was expecting to see the celebration again of like running down the, no, the pitch. Too, too old now, over the hill, done and dusted. That's and, me. Elliot, what's going to be your, it's probably quite hard for you to, to pick one memory um, from your 20 years, but is there one that stands out from there? There's a lot of very good memories there. and it, It's all with basically, a lot of it is with that the, the boys that played today. Actually, it is with the boys that played today. So it's one of them ones where they, they all have a special sort of meaning. Um, and I think if I have to choose one, it's probably going to be the 2013 Irish Cup final win. And we were sort of the odds were against us, and they were st stacked against us, and um, everything was favouring sort of Cliftonville that day. Um, but I would have to pick that one if that's the if I had to choose one. What are you going to do with your time now? You know, you're hanging up your gloves, but I'm sure it's really hard as a footballer to kind of give that up and retire. So, what are you going to do now with with all that extra time? Uh, yeah, obviously I'm, I'm staying on as part of the, the first team coaching staff. I'm still part of the full time academy. Uh, with Icefield School, so if anything, I'm, I'm, I'm even busier now because <laughs> when you're coaching, you're sort of it's full on, it's every day, and it's it, it's constant. When you're a player, you're just focused on yourself and um, just just trying to get yourself on the pitch and it, a bit selfish that way. But as a coach, you're sort of thinking about maybe a goalkeeping coach, you're maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten goalkeepers, yeah, and you're making sure they're okay and everyone's sort of ready to go for their individual game. So, isn't if anything, I'm, I'm even more busier. Elliot, you're a legend and it has been an absolute pleasure chatting no, to you today. thank you very much.